Hello and good evening YouTube, this is Kamikaze Games, back again for another video. And I was originally going to do this video at some point in my life, but since Thrash Maniac 99 would like people to send in their videos for top 10 favorite bands, I have decided to tackle this subject now, so let's do it. So I have a top 10 list written out already, so I can um, uh, do this quickly. And it's, um, it's a bit rough. I kind of just threw in, for the most part, the last five could be interchanged. The top three, four would stay the same though, and the last ones could be interchanged. But in any case, um, let's start out with number 10. And number 10, I have Fear Factory. Fear Factory is an interesting case for me. I honestly just started listening to the, most of their discography, like I'd say about around this time last year is when I first heard um, Resurrection, and that's what got me into Fear Factory, was the Resurrection and Timelessness, those two, off of Obsolete, and then eventually I downloaded all of Obsolete. I actually paid for that, so you should be proud of me for that, but um, and then eventually I got Demanufacture, Mechanize, and I think that's it, as for um, full albums, but um, other songs, Martyr, Obligatory, because it was their first several, there was the first that anyone ever heard of Fear Factory, I mean, why not, but um, The Industrialist, Recharger, and Waiting for the past year in anticipation for Genexus has been fun, so yeah. Number nine, I have System of a Down. System of a Down is an interesting one. I've been listening to them since about 2011, mid-2011. The first song that I heard by them was Attack. And soon after that, I got their Hypnotize album at a Walmart. But it wasn't the um, explicit lyrics. It was the censored version, which which is never fun. But, um, you know, I still managed to enjoy it. And eventually, started listening to a lot of Toxicity, a lot of um, Hypnotize. I really haven't delved too far into their debut album, but like Steal This Album also. Let's do a lot of that. And System of a Down. Um, number eight is Bad Religion. One of my biggest inspirations for making music, Bad Religion. They inspired a lot of the punk, rocky, choppy, choppier songs that I've written. I haven't performed many Bad Religion inspired songs, mostly the Butthole Surfers. Inspired songs, which is number seven, by the way. Bad Religion, I've been listening to them since early, early, early 2013. When their True North album was released. And I was hesitant to listen to it, because I didn't know, you know, eh. But I, listened, I gave it a listen, and I'm, I'm still listening to True North to this day. So, I guess that's, that's good. And then soon came Suffer and No Control Against the Grain. And all those good songs. Um, Best For You is my favorite off of Suffer. That is a very good song. That is in my top 10 favorite songs as of right now list. But um, let's move on to number 7, Butthole Surfers. Obviously, like I said, Butthole Surfers. I've been listening to them since, I'd say, about mid-2012. The first one that I heard was Who Was In My Room Last Night. And that was a good song. That is a great song to drive to, by the way. Driving to that song is... But soon came Locus Abortion Technician, um, the rest of Independent Warm Saloon. I'm waiting in anticipation for them to make a comeback, honestly. Um, Ulcer Breakout off of Electric Larry Land is my favorite by them right now, so check that out. Number six is going to be kind of the deviant from the rest of the list. It's Phil Collins, actually. Phil Collins. Um, love his work in Genesis, loved Face Value and No Jacket Required. I also have some songs off of Dancing to the Light, Testify. I didn't really ever like his Disney songs though. They felt so contrived, if that's a word that I can use. But Phil Collins, huge inspiration for um, more clean vocal style. I still sing his stuff from time to time. Number five, getting back to the metal, Judas Priest, by far my favorite 
from the 80s, 70s era of metal. And there's too many songs to list. Uh, All of Sad Wings and Destiny is fantastic. Sin After Sin is great. Um, and you know what? Even their, even their later stuff, like off of, isn't it called Destroyer? I just downloaded some of that today, actually. Destroyer, right? No, Demolition. One on One and Lost and Found. Angel of Retribution had some good songs. Angel and Hellrider are top notch. Um, Judas Priest, they've had so much music. There's something for everyone over at Judas Priest. Um, number four, maybe this is also a bit of a deviant Tom. Um, Death in June, they're a folk group from, and they've been playing since the 1980s over in Austria, Germany area. And they've had, they've been, well, it's mostly just Douglas P. now. He was a founding member and is the only remaining from the founding members. And they're still, re- and he's still releasing albums. The last one in 2013. But like, um, stuff off of abandoned tracks. Um, listening to a lot of symbols lately. Symbols is a good one. And Death in June. Um, they're obscure. Check them out. Number three, back into the metal, Pitch Shifter. They were industrial until about 1998 when they changed the drum and bass. And unlike most Pitch Shifter fans, I don't choose between the two incarnations of the band. Both, I think, are great. The industrial side was great. The drum and bass was great. Deviant was a bit eh. But PSI was fantastic. Um, Most of PitchShifter.com, that was fantastic. Please, sir, is too good. It's too good to be real, but infotainment takes the cake. It was a perfect division between drum and bass and industrial. It's a fantastic album. I s- I've been listening to Pitch Shifter since Test Drive 5. And all the time in between then and now. It's that good to be listening to all these years. Number two, another band you probably haven't heard. Into Another. They're from the 90s. And they just released an EP in April of this year. Five songs on that EP. All of them are great. You should probably buy that. I actually paid for that. Um, They've had a lot of EPs. They've had more EPs than albums. They've been active since the 90s, early 90s. Um, Their unreleased album is also good. You can actually download that. And um, into another, they got their self-titled album, and Ignorus and Seamless. Every song off of those, just great. I just can't. I can't put into words how good Into Another is. Like, I can't. They're 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 just too good, too good to be true. Just like, who did I say? Uh, who who did I say was too good to be true? Yeah, whatever. Um, we're gonna move on to number one. And number one is probably a bit more sentimental than anything, but number one for me is Static X. Wayne Static was my hero. Undoubtedly. Like, if it wasn't Phil Collins, it would be Wayne Static. Wayne, just everything that I looked for in a performer. He had the energy, he had the voice, he could do, he could do the heavy stuff, he could do the clean stuff. And Static X is great. Wisconsin Death Trip, Shadow Zone, Machine, Start a War, Destroyer, Cult of Static. I've listened to it all, and I still do to this day. The first I heard of Static X was Need for Speed Underground, and since then, it has not gone far. Not gone far, so... Um, I have a few honorable mentions. Skid Row for getting me into a lot more metal bands. Um, Whitechapel for getting me into death metal. Mayhem for getting me into black metal. Blues Traveler because they're they're just a special band. There's there's something special about them. Autopilot Off, love their. They didn't they they've got new stuff coming out at some point. Their newest they're like when I was young. Their brand new single there. That's that's good. Alice in Chains. Who doesn't like Alice and James? Disturbed. 
more metally. Um, if you asked me to make this list eight years ago, I would have put Kid Rock on there. It was great until Born Free. Then just went trash and Moving Units, another obscure band. Um, their self-titled EP, Pink Thoughts, off of Hexes and Exes. Yeah, and last mention would be Rancid. Their uh, I, it was hard for me to choose between Bad Religion and Rancid to be honest, but I put Bad Religion on the list. And Rancid, I did not. But um, that's my... How long was this? Christ. Um, that's my top ten favorite bands list. Um, I hope this is what you wanted. So yeah, see you in my next vid. Bye.